Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for this opportunity to spend a few moments in God's Word and in prayer. Today we'll be talking about taming the tongue. James chapter 3 verse 5 through 6. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boasts. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. The tongue also is a fire, a world of evil among the parts of the body. It corrupts the whole body, sets the whole course of one's life on fire and is itself set on fire by hell. Fire can be either be constructive or destructive depending upon its containment. James writes that poorly chosen words are like sparks that cause a great fire. Both bring immeasurable damage. A little gossip runs its course and who knows how much damage it causes. A careless word spoken and a person is left wounded and scarred for a lifetime. Bitter words, hateful words and foul words must be crucified with the flesh or they will dominate our speech. Our flesh does not have the power to tame the tongue. Only the Holy Spirit can. Whatever good gift God creates, Satan perverts. The tongue is one such area where Satan has corrupted, which is why the Bible says the tongue has been set on fire by hell. We defy Satan's evil's attempt, evil attempts to destroy our lives through the tongue when we commit ourselves to the daily Lordship of Jesus. We can offer ourselves every day as living sacrifices and we can specifically focus on giving our tongues over to the Lord. Set a guard over my mouth, Lord, and keep watch over the door of my lips. We can ask the Lord to make us more conscious of the words we speak and quickly repent on any comment that dishonors Him. Our tongues can be compared favorably to fire when we use our words to warm hearts, spread truth and destroy lives. To keep our tongues under control, we can start every day with a prayer David prayed. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. The good news is that the fruit of the Holy Spirit is self-control. Though no human being can tame the tongue, the Holy Spirit of God can. When we walk in step with the Spirit, we will notice that the Spirit helps us to control our tongues. He convicts us when we sin with our lips and that conviction drives us to repent and pray for more filling of the Holy Spirit so that we can avoid this in the future. As we cling on to Jesus and yield to Him in obedience, He controls us more and more and including our tongue. Let us pray. Father, we thank You again for Your Word that exhorts us, Lord. As we read today, the tongue is like fire that can cause damage. I pray, Lord, that as believers, that we will learn to use our tongues appropriately, that the words that we speak and the meditations of our heart, Lord, will be acceptable and pleasing in your sight. Thank you for teaching us to speak words of life wherever we are, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.